Now Joseph had been taken down to Egypt, and Potiphar, an officer of Pharaoh, captain of the guard, an Egyptian, bought him from the Ismailites who had taken him down there. The Lord was with Joseph. This is amazing. Look at this. The Lord was with Joseph. And he was a successful man. The Lord was with Joseph and he was a success, successful man. And he was in the house of his master, the Egyptian. And his master saw the Lord was with him. And that the Lord made all he did to prosper in his hands. So Joseph found favor in his sight and served him. And he made him overseer of his house. And all that he had, he put under his authority. You see, from slave, and he had, he had authority over the house of his master. Five. So it was from the time that he had made him overseer of his house, and all that he had, the Lord blessed the Egyptian's house for Joseph's sake. Amazing. And the blessing of the Lord was on all that he had in the house and in the field. Thus he left all that he had in Joseph's hand, and he did not know what he had except for the bread which he ate. Now Joseph was handsome in form and appearance, and it came to pass after these things that his, man, his master's wife cast longing eyes on Joseph, and he said, Lie with me. Uh, but he refused and said to his master wife, Look, my master does not know what is with me in the house, and, has, and he has committed all that he has to my hand. There is no one greater in this house than I, nor has he kept back anything from me but you, because you are his wife. How then can I do this great wickedness and sin against God? So it was as he spoke to Joseph day by day that he did not heed her to lie with her or to be with her. This is the story of Joseph, you know. So favor is upon Joseph. But, but why is the favor is upon Joseph at that time? Why he had a favor of God for him? First, that I want to share with you, favor come because the Lord is with you. So in Genesis 39 verse 2, go to my presentation, Genesis 39 verse 2, look at this, the Lord was with Joseph, the Lord was with Joseph, okay, the Lord was with Joseph, and he was a successful man, so the most important thing, I just don't know what you do today, either you students, either you workers, either you, your housewife, or, or man, or whatever you do today, church, listen to me, Joseph can be successful man. He, he wasn't successful man. Why? Because the Lord was with Joseph. And he was successful man. And he was in the house of his master, the Egyptian. You know, you don't, don't, don't forget. At this time, Joseph was a slave. He'd been born. He was not a free man. But because God was with Joseph. He became successful. Today we have better than Joseph. Today we have better than Joseph because, because of Christ Jesus who was born and his name is Emmanuel. You know what is the meaning of Emmanuel? God is with us. In Matthew 1 verse 23, it said like this, Behold, the virgin shall be with child and bear a son. And they shall call his name Emmanuel, which is translated one, God with us. So regardless what you have today, regardless the situation that you have today, despite of the struggle or issues that you have today, what I know today is this is Emmanuel. As you receive Jesus Christ as your Savior, as your Lord, you know what happens? God is with you. So it means God's favor is already on you. The problem is we just don't see that, that God is always with us. We tend to think that 
whatever happened, when the, the, the bad things happen, it seems that God is not with us anymore. It's not true. God is always with us. That's why he called it Emmanuel. God is with us. God is with you, church. God is always with you. He never leaves you and he will never forsake you. Never. It's not because when I do wrong, Pastor, what happened then? God never forsake you and never leave you. He gave me the Holy Spirit to tell you that you still under His grace, that you sin already forgiven. You know why Joseph know that it's sin to lie with, with somebody, somebody, somebody um, wife? Because he knows that he's under favor. You know, the consciousness that you cannot do that because the favor is so great of you, the conscience of the favor when you don't do sin. In the, at that time, it's not even there a Ten Commandments yet. But Joseph, no, he could not do it that, that, that he lied with somebody's uh, wife. You can see this. Because he said, I cannot sin against God. How he can understand sin? Because he knows he is under favor. He knows that God's favor is upon him. That's why under grace, we are not under the condemnation or under the, 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 the we will always, like, like sins bound us. It's not like that. But when you conscious, and you know that God loves you, that God is with you, and that God's favor on you, you don't do this. That's why yesterday in the prayer meeting I said to you, sometimes people, Christian people, is only, only repentance. Repentance is, is change the mind, metanoia. Metanoia is not here, but it's here. To change your mind, to change your way of thinking. The, the way of thinking is not anymore self-righteousness. Uh, 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 in the Bible it said, it's not about the, 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 the do or the deeds that you know, but you have a faith of God. This is the repentance, church. It's not about our self-righteousness anymore, but it's the faith towards God. This is about the repentance. So, we sometimes, we are not change our mind. We think we are living, we still living, uh, like an old man that actually already dead as Jesus dead as we received Christ in our life we think that this is our life this is our life that we have to do this and to do that and then, and then listen stop it okay as you receive Jesus in, in, in your life you know the kingdom of God is within you look at this uh, and in John 14 verse 16 until 20 I pray the Father that's why he cannot leave you and he cannot forsake you. This is the, the announcement of Jesus to everybody. I pray the Father and he will give you another helper. Another helper is the same. It means another is the same. It's like him. Another helper. So you not, you are never in the this, in this situation that you always helpless. Sometimes we are, we confess. That we said, I'm helpless, you know. You never helpless because you have a helper. Another helper is there. And then it's not only helper, but it's the comforter. He will comfort you. Because God don't, doesn't want to leave you alone. Look at this. We just, we just, we just read the Bible, okay? I pray the Father that He will give you another helper. That He, look at this, He may abide with you. How, how long? Forever! He abides with you forever. So it's not only a particular time, but forever. What is forever? Until you meet Jesus again, He will abide with you. He will never leave you. He will never forsake you. Who is He? The Spirit of Truth. Whom the world cannot receive, because it neither sees Him or knows Him. But you know Him, for He dwells. This is amazing. For He dwells within you and will be in you. I will not leave you orphans. I will come 
to you. So the Spirit of truth, Jesus in the Spirit, He comes to you, the Holy Spirit, your helper. He comes to you, He abides in you. That's why we have better things than Joseph, Emmanuel. God is with us. The Spirit of God is with you. Amen. He abides in you. And how long? Forever. 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 Forever until we meet Jesus again in the second times. And we go home to heaven. Jesus already provides everything for us. But as we on the earth, Jesus really know what we will face, what will happen in our life, what the struggle will come, what the world will say about us. He said, I will never leave you often. But the Spirit of truth come to you, abide in you. The Spirit of God is in you, is for you, and is with you forever. Say to your neighbors, I have the Spirit of God in my life forever. Say it. Forever. Forever. And a little while longer, and the world will see me no more. But you, look at it, amazing. But you will see me. Because I live, you will all live also. You cannot be dead. Because he lives, you will live also. At that day, you will know that I am. Look at this. This is, this is the amazing proclamation from our Lord Jesus Christ. Look at this. At that day, you will know that I am in my Father, and you in me, and I in you. Amazing, isn't it? Amazing. I am in my Father, and you in me, and I in you. It means you become one with God. Amen, church. You become one with God. And, 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 and look at what happens to Joseph. Even the situation is negative. Being slave is slave. Okay? Slave is slave. It's not. Then he is not a free man. But he becomes successful because God is with him. God was with him. And today, God is with you. You become one with God. Jesus said, I am in you. I am in my Father. And you in me. And I in you. You know the Father God. Jesus is with the Father. And you are in Jesus, and Jesus in you. So you are consuming by the presence of God in your life. Amen. So it's not only that. When God bless you, He bless you with double portion. All this is beyond our imagination. You have powerful. God in your life. You know, you want to know Romans 8. Look at this Romans 8 verse 11. You are become one with God. And look at it. What the Spirit of truth, what the Spirit of truth give you. The Spirit of God who raised Jesus from the dead. Once again, the Spirit of God, the Spirit of truth, the helper, the comforter, the Spirit of Jesus, the Spirit of God who raised Jesus from the dead.
so powerful spirit you have it in your life, church. So what I mean is this, I, 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 I read that the, the, the story of Joseph, God is with Joseph. God was with Joseph and he became a successful man. You don't only become successful, but you have power within you. I just want to, to, to remind you again what you have in your life. As the followers of Jesus, as the son of the living God, that you are, have the spirit of Jesus in you. So this is the spirit of God who raised Jesus from the dead lives in you. And just as God raised Christ Jesus from the dead, he will give you life to your mortal bodies by the same spirit living within you. enough power, more than enough that you can imagine. You have it in your life. But sometimes, like I said yesterday in a in in, in prayer meeting, we are only repenting our way of thinking, metanoia. We are repenting only that we have the salvation and that's it. But actually, we not repent enough to see the kingdom of God happens in our life. You know what is the meaning of all of this? It means like this, the reality today in Jesus' realm is also your reality. Amen? The reality of Jesus is our reality, even we are on earth. That's why in 1 John, it said like this, as Jesus is, so are you in this world. So his reality in the heavenly realm is our reality today. But we are not our way of thinking, we think, oh, when something happens and that's it, I am done. No, you are not. You have to release the power that within you into the situation. Like Jesus, the storm coming. He, he just released the power that within him through the Holy Spirit. He just said, stay calm. And the, and, and the, and the storm comes. I just don't, don't know what kind of storm in your life today. But what I say, release it. But the kingdom that you already have, the power that you have into your situation. Release it. Amen? Say to your neighbors, release the kingdom. Release the kingdom. And, and, and look at this. So it means you have it. And, and when you have this spirit, you have the kingdom of God within you. So you know kingdom, it means the king, the dominion. So the dominion of God, that is the reality in your life. But we sometimes, we are so, so focusing on what the world outside that throw on us. We are so focusing on what the devil throw on us. Joseph knows. He knows that he is under favor. God is with us. God, is, God was with him so that whatever he done, whatever he did, Always successful. Listen to me. Successful is the is always the following effect that you are that God is with you. Amen. I don't know what you you you're doing today. Either you're in the office, either you're in the student, and whatever it is, whatever it is, just, but when you consider that God is with you and the spirit power is in you, the kingdom of God is in you, you will be successful. It, it's, it's only the following effect, okay? It's only the following effect. And, and the amazing thing is as we as, as, as we as we read from, from, the, from the Bible, the blessing for the for the Potiphar house because of Joseph. So wherever you go today, wherever you do, because the, the, the favor is upon you, the surrounding will be blessing also because of you. Amen? So you don't have to worry about that. But, but, but what my thing is not only because we have to successful, you don't have to worry, like, like Leonie already, already, already told us today, yeah? uh, don't worry, about, oh, uh, how, how can God provide, I just only work two, two, uh, two times, and, you know, but you know, God provide, and more than enough, God is a good God, He will take care of you, 
Amen. He will take care of you. He will take care of you, church. You don't have to be worried. But release the kingdom of you because you have it. I just want to, to, to remind you again. Romans 14, verse 17. It's like this. For the kingdom of God, look at this. It's not eating and drinking. It's not only about the successful and you can get eating and, and so on and so on. But righteousness, how you can become righteousness? Because of Jesus, your righteousness. Peace, he is the peace. Prince of peace is Jesus Christ. And joy. So the kingdom of God is not only this. Eating, drinking, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy so in the Holy Spirit the kingdom of God what I want to say to you today so when you have the spirit of God the praise Jesus, the spirit of truth and, 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 and this spirit is within you you have the kingdom of God within you you don't search oh where is your kingdom Jesus show me your kingdom Jesus said hi my child the kingdom is in you. The problem from the church, the problem from the Christian, they don't release the kingdom into the situation. This is the problem. So today I just want to, to say to you that you have the kingdom. That God is always with you forever. Okay? You have the kingdom. This is this is the first, the first point. The second point, because you have the kingdom within you, you have the favor of God upon you. Genesis 39 verse 4, it said like this, Joseph found favor in his eyes and became his attendant. Potiphar put him in charge of his household and he entrusted to his care everything he owned. So today, when you search for job, not only that, you can still receive everything. So that you can receive that, okay, I can pay my days. And listen, we are the children of God. The kingdom is within us. So when God bless you with a job, He will bless you also in position. So in your position, you can bless everybody also. Okay? It's not only for us. You will see why Joseph was so blessed. Because he will, he will save the whole nation of Israel. So because of this whole nation of Israel, they came out and there's the preparation so that the Messiah can come. Amen, church. This is the plan of God. Even he was a slave. He can, he, he became the second, the second most important person in, in, in Egypt after the king. Amazing. This is amazing. But Genesis 13, 39, verse 4 first. Joseph found favor in his eyes and became his attendant. Potiphar put him in a charge of his household and he entrusted to his care everything he owed. Joseph found favor. You have always, I want to remind you again, this very important thing that you have always conscious that you already found a favor. Why? Because you are under grace. You know what the grace mean? Grace mean is literally is that we have the unmerited favor. That's the meaning of grace. Unmerited, undeserved. Actually, you and I don't deserve this favor of God. But God gave to us through Jesus Christ. And as we receive Him, as we, we we, we receive Him, accepted Him as our Lord and as our Savior. We pronounce it and you are saved. You are under favor. You are under the grace. That's why it's very important. And the Romans said, we are not under the law, but we are under the grace. And grace is a merit of favor. Actually, we don't deserve it. But God gives this as a gift for you. As a present, I received so many presents for since yesterday from my wife, from the church, from the deacons and elders. Many presents. This is the gift. It's like that. God, God give you also, you know. He give you free. Free. There is no string attached. No, He just wants to give you. Why? Because He 
loves you. So, the favor of God, listen to me, the favor of God is not depend on the situation that you're facing right now. It's not, it's not depend on the, on the, the issues that you're right now. The favor is always there. It seems sometimes our situation is not good, seems negative, it's, it's, sometimes it seems no way out. But still, you know something? God favor is always upon you. So we have all, only to release it in our life. The problem is we just keep it and keep it and sometimes the repenting, you know, the metanoia. The, the way of thinking, we just still thinking like the old man thing, like the world outside their things. We think that oh, nothing will happen, oh, cannot help me, I have to, 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 to do it on my own. You know, when I have, I have to do it, no, no, no. The slave boy become the overseer and then become the second uh, uh, important person. Is that because of him? He always from jail to jail to jail, and then go to the very important and went to the very important persons in the engine. <laughs> the problem is when sometimes when we see this limitation, sometimes when we see this, we tend to to forgetting that we are under favor of God. I don't I I don't want you to forget that. Whatever happens today, you are surrounded by the favor of God. Don't forget, Joseph found favor from Potiphar. He was a slave. The surrounding situation did not have influence to Joseph's life. Okay? The surrounding situation, this, this is a slavery thing, this is a limited thing, it's not, don't, it didn't have influence to Joseph's life. So listen to me. Your life will not be in, uh, the, the influence of the world, the influence of the economy, the influence of whatever it is. This will not happen to you because you have the favor of God upon you. Amen? You understand what I mean? It, it's not, it's not, it will, it's, it will be okay everything, okay? But what Joseph was conscious is that God presence with him. You know why? Because in the in in in, 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 in the first night, in the first night, 39, just 39, first night. Because he is so present, he he is so conscious that God goodness. Go to, to uh, Genesis 39. First night. Look at this. I want I want you to know. That there was no law at that time. The Ten Commandments was not given. Because Paul said, from the law you will know the sin. But Joseph didn't have the law. But still he know it's against God when he is slain with other uh, with the wife of somebody. Look at this. There is no one greater in this house than I, nor has he kept back anything from me but you. Because you are his wife. How then I can I do this great wickedness and sins against God? You know why he conscious? He, he know he know that, that when he do that, that he will be uh, that he do sin. You know why? Because he conscious about the goodness of God in his life. You want to be free from your sin? One thing, just know that God is good for you. Amen. Sin is not like, oh, I want to fight it, I want to do Lots of people fall again into the sin. And it's frustrating. That's why, and I want to say to the people, what, I've, what I receive from God, tell them that I love them. You remember the, 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 the woman that caught by adultery? Jesus has said to them, I don't want to punish you. I don't want to punish you. Just go and don't see no more. The punishing of sin is on, already on Jesus' body on the cross 2,000 years ago. As you conscious about them, as you conscious about the, the favor of God in your life, as you conscious about the goodness of God in your life, the sins will vanish from your life. You will not attach anymore to the sin.
Amen, church? If thoughtlessly, if thoughtlessly, you will, you will go from the sin. I chose the fruit. Now, Joseph was conscious of God present is with him. Today, you need, today probably you ask the pastor, how can I walk under favor? Listen to me. I want to ask that question that you are under favor, not because of your work or what you toil. Okay, not you work for favor. I do this. I I I worshiping God. I come to to church. Hey, you have to come to church because we want to worship in Him together. When you not come to church, the the distraction will 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 be great in you, and you cannot know is God is not. And how can I? No, we need come to church because by that our focusing is 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 is, is on Him again. But you are under favor, not because of your work or your toiling. Second Peter one, verse two. Look at this from my presentation. Second Peter one, verse two says like this: Grace and peace be yours in abundance to the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord. Listen. Probably you ask me, how can I walk under favor, Pastor? How does this favor happens in my life? Second Peter Peter one, verse two is the answer: Grace and peace. What is the grace? Grace is an unmerited favor, undeserved favor of God. Grace is unmerited favor. You are under grace because of Jesus' finished work on the cross and you believe it and you accept it. And what is the meaning of peace? Peace, it means shalom. What is the meaning of shalom? Wholeness, health, safety, and provision. It's the meaning of peace, shalom. So unmerited favor and wholeness and health and safety and provision happens to you in abundance. It's amazing, isn't it? When God speaks. In abundance, how? It's not because of you do something, no, but through the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord. The more you hear about Jesus, the more you have the revelation about our Christ and His finished work, the more abundant it is, it will come and it will come. To receive it, you receive it as the knowledge of Jesus and our God increases in your life. The revelation of God and the revelation of Jesus as this increase in your life, you will have and you will experience favor more and more in your life. You know why the people outside there struggles? Because they don't have knowledge who their God is and who Jesus is. The more knowledge that you know that you we have a good God, a loving God, we have Jesus and His perfect word on the cross. The more knowledge and revelation that you have, the more increasing about this happens in your life. You will see by faith and you will receive the abundance and abundance and abundance of all this. The Psalm 5 verse 12 said like this, Surely, Lord, you bless the righteous. Surely. You are the righteousness of God. Why? Through Jesus Christ. And look at this. You surround them with your favor as we are sure. Amen. You surround them with the favor, with your favor as we are sure. Today, you don't have to struggle for favor. Release it into your life. You have the kingdom, the kingdom minion in your life through the Holy Spirit. Release it. Speak it. As you hear it, as you speak it, confess it. Your faith will increase. Your knowledge will increase. As you come to the church, as you hear about Jesus. That's why I preach only Jesus. I don't have, uh, you know something? Because of 2 Peter 1, uh, uh, 2 Peter 1, verse 2. I only preach Jesus from the pulpit. I cannot preach nothing. I can only preach Jesus and how goodness is our Father is. I don't have methods that I can give you, church. I don't have it. 
But what I have is my Jesus. And I give you my Jesus. I don't have methods to, to do this in one time and to do that. No! <coughs> but I want to increase your knowledge. In Jesus and God. And as increasing, you know what happens? Abundance of grace and favor happens to you. So today, you don't have to, to struggle for favor. Release it into your life. You have the kingdom. You already have it. Release it. As you continue to speak, God's favor over your life, out of revelation of Jesus' finished work, you will see more of it being released. So listen. So when you want to release it, as you continue to speak God's favor, continue to speak God's favor over your life, out of the revelation of Jesus' finished work, you will see more of it being released. So today, let's say it together with me. Thanks. Let's say it together with me. Today say, okay? And when I, uh, as I count three, we say it together. Okay? I want to, to read it for you first. I am surrounded with favor of God because of Jesus' finished work. I favor before God and man. I want to, 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 to say it together, okay? Okay. In, in count of three, okay? One, two, three. I am surrounded with the favor of God because of Jesus' finished work. I have favor before God and man. Come on. <laughs> when you confess, when you hear it, and when you say, I'm surrounded with favor, favor of God is shared me. After you, you go to work, you go to school, you, you go with your friend, whatever it is, and you say, I have surrounded with the favor because of Jesus' finished work. And I have favor before God and the man. And the, the more you say, the more you confess, the more you believe it, it will release it in your life. You don't have to beg. <laughs> Please, church, Christian people, don't beg in care, God, because God already gives everything for you. It is within you. Amen? It is within you. Amen. 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 So the third thing, the third point, the third point, this is the closing. Are these favor only for us? Are these blessings only for us so that they uh, so that, that, that all comfort us. No, it's not. The favor of God for you and for me is for the blessing for the other. You know, Joseph, Joseph being sold by his brothers, being sold by his brothers and, 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 and he landed by Potiphar. And Potiphar, he doesn't, Joseph didn't do wrong. But the wife of Potiphar said, he didn't want to try to, to, to rob, to, 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 to do not good for me. But he didn't do that. What happened? Potiphar, Potiphar jailed him. So every time something negative is always happens. But listen today. When it seems something negative will always happen in your life. When, when, when the devil, it seems the devil, the life throw you a rock. Listen, the, the rock that the devil throw, the rock that the problems throw to you, make the rock to become an altar or to become a stepping stone. Amen? Don't be worried about what happens, the negative thing happens. Because the word, the devil, they don't have, they don't have the final word. The final word is always come from Jesus. So make this a stepping stone, make this an altar, so that, that whatever happens, you can just conscious about the favor of God that's upon you. Despite of any situation, despite of any situation, like Joseph, even he was, 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 was in the jail, the favor is always upon him. And he met the butler, and the baker of the king of Egypt in the dungeon. And he told them the, 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 uh, he interpreted the dream of the butler and the baker from, 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 from the king of Egypt. And you know what happened? 
After that, the butler said, Oh, I, I know. And, I, I, and then the king dreamed about something. And nobody can interpret this dream. And the butler said, I know somebody can, 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 can do it. And Joseph was taken to the king. And he just speak and speak and speak. You know why it can happen? Because the fear. Despite any situation that you have today, I just don't know. Probably this is negative. For me. The devil, it seems to throw you a, 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 a stone. When the devil throw you a stone, he said, okay, collect it, collect it, make it an altar so that you can pray. And you can, you can make your, 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 your praying upon this altar. Or you make it as a stepping stone. You really know what happens. So don't be upset. But you have to conscious, I still have the favor of God. Amen, church? Amen. Like Joseph. You know why? Because he had to, to, to experience all these things. So that he know that his favor is not only for him. But his favor <coughs> to bless the Israel people. So the Israel people not starving outside there because of the famine happened on the whole world. So today, church of God, I B C D Hanover, whoever you will come here today and hear my voice, listen. You know when you are under favor, when you are under the you conscious about the favor of God, the kingdom of God is in you. You know why you have it? So that you can bless other people. It's not only for you. There is somebody starving outside there. There is somebody dying outside there. They are dying. They cannot eat. Him. You know? I just I just longing that this church we can we can we can we can serve more people. We can we can help more people because because the king is in us. The powerful, the, the, the power of God is in us, is within us. There is somebody starving outside there. There is somebody sick outside there. And they, they don't have a, a, a medicine for, 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 for them. That they, they have a, a, a healthiness again. But we have the power of Jesus. You know, everybody that's sick, the sick people that came to Jesus, He healed them. Or, the, or everybody that the Father told, told, told to Jesus to, to, to get healed. And He healed everybody, you know. Everybody, you know why you have a favor of God once again? For you to become a blessing for others. You can become a blessing for others because you have the kingdom within you. You have it. Say to your neighbors, you can become a blessing for others. Me or me, me too. Say it. Say to them, become a blessing for others. We don't have to be egoistic, church. We don't have to be egoistic. But when you say, Pastor, I'm just a, I'm just a student. And then, when somebody, look at this, before, before, I, before I continue, let, 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 let's see this, let's see this. Why are you having all of this? Why are you having all the favor? Why are you having, because one thing, we have to be a representative of the kingdom of, of Lord for the world outside there. Amen? Jesus said like this, Matthew 10, 7 until 8, and you, go proclaim this message. The kingdom of heaven has come near. Heal the sick, raise the dead, cleanse those who have leprosy, drive out demons, freely you have received, freely give. Undeserved favor, unmerited favor of God, you receive freely. Amen? Give it freely. So, you can become an engineer, you can become a pilot, you can become a doctor, you can become everything that you want. But what is the main purpose? Heal the sick, raise the dead, cleanse them, those who with leprosy, drive out demons. Amen. <laughs> hey, sometimes the church is not like this, or oh, much time is not like this. That that's what God bless me. God, no, listen, you are blessed, of course. But are we there? 
Are we praying that we say, I have the kingdom of God within me. The spirit that raised Jesus from the dead is within me. So probably your, your, your co-workers or your friend in campus or your neighbors when you say, I have a headache. I have this and I have this. Sometimes we are so shy. We are humiliated. Say, can I pray for you? You know, I can cure that. And he said, how can you cure me? I have Jesus in my life. And we can pray together. So you can get healed. Are we brave enough to say that? You say, well, uh, today we say, I have the power of the kingdom. Of, um, the kingdom. Release it, church. Release it. You let somebody that I pray for you. Just lay hands. Because whatever you want to do, you can get married. But after you get married, Jesus said, heal the sick, raise the dead, cleanse those who have leprosy, drive out demons. Chris the gospel. You can become a manager in your, uh, in, your, in your company or whatever, but still, heal the sick, raise the dead, cleanse those who have leprosy, drive out demons. And he made it, you know. Amen. Say to your neighbors, give the sick, raise the dead, cleanse those who have members and drive out demons. Say them to them. Listen, why I, I want to, to share it with you. There is lots of church that they don't that they don't believe about this anymore. But Jesus said, as you go, proclaim this message. The kingdom of heaven has come here. Heal the sick, raise the dead, cleanse those who have leprosy, and drive on demons. Today, church, in this week, in this week, as you obey here, this word, are you there enough? Are you brave enough that somebody in your neighborhood, your friends, or whatever it is, when he has problems, or when he has sickness, when he not getting, you said, can I pray for you? Either to get healed or not, it's not your problem. Jesus will never, Jesus will never leave you. He is there. The healing process comes from Jesus. What we have to do is only release it in our life. So when you can release it, the favor of God in your life, now release also to your surroundings. So they know. Here is the kingdom of God. Amen. Amen. When you touch people, pray for them. Okay? So when they're in cloud style, there is somebody that had edge, uh, that have had edge, let's pray for it, Bernard, okay? Can I pray for you? Why not? The, the, the bad things that can happen, is they, 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 they just say, no, you don't have to pray for me. Okay, it's not a problem. But still, you want to release it. Amen? Yes. So don't keep it. Say to your neighbors, don't keep the kingdom. Okay. Okay. Say to your neighbors, don't keep the favor. Okay. You have all of these chairs so that you can be a blessing for others. Amen? Right. You are already blessed. You are already blessed. <coughs> so once again, I want to say to you, uh, I want to, to repeat it again. This. As you go, proclaim this message. Don't don't, don't, uh, don't shy that you said about Jesus. Don't shy that when they ask you, where you go today? I go to church to hear about Jesus. And they said, why do you have to go to church? Because I have righteousness, I, can, I have peace and joy. And I said, can you, can you tell me more about that? And you said, you have a problem? Can I pray for you? And as you touch them, touch them, just touch them, and you will see that the people actually open. The people outside, they're longing for God, and you have it in your life. They're longing for the, the miracles, and you have it in your life. Amen. So you receive a free and merited favor. Give also free. Now, church, whatever you do today, let me mix one thing. Next week, at least 
search one person and you can pray for him. Amen? See one person in your campus, in your workplace, whatever. Seek one person so that you can pray for him. And you will see how signs and wonders happen to you. Are you there to do that? Are you there? Who there to do that? I have a brave enough to do that. <laughs> <laughs> pastor, I just don't know pastor. Any part, church, could have it. Okay? So today there is an open open doors. Uh, I just know it that today is there, there is an open open uh, tap the open door here. So when people come and say, Hi, how are you? With big smile, okay? Can I help you? You want something? This is the church. You have a problem? <laughs> Can I pray for you? And why not? Okay? So as we do it, church, you can see. People will run out to search Jesus through you. Do it. You have the power. You have the favor. Whatever. Look, look at it. Whatever you touch, it will be successful. Not only in words, but as you pray for people, it also will be successful. Heal the people, heal the sick, raise the dead, cleanse those who have leprosy, drive, drive out demons, proclaim the message. Freely you God, freely you give. In Jesus' name. Amen. Let's pray together.